And now, State Farm presents New York's starting five. DeBusher is out there with Bradley. Then it's Barnett. Then it's Lucas. And it's Frazier in at the point guard position. And for the Bucks, Lister is out there with Cummings. Then it's Pressy. Then it's Moncrief. And it's Hodges in at the one spot. Well, Terry Cummings gave the Bucks about 20 points and eight boards a game during that 84-85 season. Most of them coming inside just like that. Well, you see the great passing. I mean, that was a trademark for this Knicks offense. Constant motion, kind of an unspoken connection between the players. They really worked well as a unit. Nice shot from the wing. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Guys, the Knicks head coach had a couple of minutes to spend with me. He told me that to him, the most impressive thing about his team has been their mistake-free play offensively, saying, we're not doing a lot wrong when we've got the ball in our hands, and we need to keep that frame of mind going. Guys? Doris, thanks. Guys, shooting is a chief concern for them. You know, it could be um, this coaching staff has seen something they haven't really liked in regard to, um, to shooting, maybe a, a poor week of practice, perhaps. Well, they can't really think the full game about whether the shots are going to go in or not. I mean, it's all about playing hard and trying to get good shots and then building your confidence from there. Bradley, on grief defending, from 17 feet out. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, I tell you what, really a good job to get open and then just kind of box the release. Turned it over there, but they built this lead by making the most of their possessions and keeping their turnovers really low. Bradley kicks to Lucas. He dishes it to DeBusher. And the powerful one-handed slam. How about that? Nice and easy right there. Yeah, he didn't even try to do it too much. No, nope, no fancy stuff. He'll just take his two points, go back and play some defense. Cummings backs in. And it's going to be a three-second call. Monroe's checked in for Barnett. And the Knicks with the ball. Hodges against Frazier. Blocked. That right there is something Sidney Moncrief was so good at, despite his modest size. To average nearly five rebounds a game as a 6'4 guard, very impressive. Here's Monroe. Good. Nice feed by Dave DeBusher. I mean, he had such a high basketball IQ. It's hard to believe that at the ripe old age of 24, Dave was the Pistons player coach the youngest head coach in NBA history. Here is Hodges following the score by New York. And that one's good. Terrific shot there. He had a taller defender on him, but he created just enough space to get the jumper up inside. And we saw the steal there by Paul Pressey. Second in franchise history in career steals with 894. Dangerous defender with long arms. DeBusher pulls down the board. And DeBusher on the rebound. Such a, a rugged player inside. In fact, career averages of 16 points and 11 boards. So he was a guy who really secured the paint for those great Nick teams. Frazier backs down. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Lucas, that's good. Lucas has got himself on the board with three there. And we see Jerry Lucas showing off that incredible touch, and that's what he was really known for. A big man who could shoot the ball from the outside, and that really spread defenses out and allowed his teammates, guys like Earl Monroe and Clyde Frazier, to have driving lanes to get to the hoop. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. you got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. Some changes here for the Bucks. Brewer comes in for Lister, and it's Pierce in for Pressy. Reed is checked in for the Knicks. Barnett comes in for Bradley. Here's Barnett. Here's Monroe. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. Now, the three pointer really isn't his game. I'd like to see him get closer to the hoop. Monroe gets the reach in call. That's his first foul. First. We've got 108 left to play here in the first. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Here is Frazier, looking for his first bucket of the game. 
Here's Monroe. To Busher. Is called for a loose ball foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Well, it's an over-the-back foul, but it's one that you can live with. He's trying to be aggressive, and I like that. Yeah, you know, I used to do that as a player myself, Steve, but you've got to be smart about going over the top. I don't think he had a chance to get that rebound anyway. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Here is Frazier. Picked off in midair. That's such a tough catch when the ball is coming from that far away. Hodges the pass to Cummings. Reed covering. Reed against Cummings. Cummings hits the inside shot. Now scoring was always something that Terry Cummings could provide. Over 19,000 career points. And trust me, that's up there. He knew how to create buckets. Hodges. Tries again. Lennox pull it in. And excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Here's Brewer. Here is Hodges. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. He's got nine. Here's Barnett. No good trying to beat the buzzer. A good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. Here's Barnett. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Davis is out there with Barnett. Then it's Reed. Then there's Bradley. And it's Jackson in at the power forward. The dish to Moncrief. It's stolen by Davis. Reed dishes to Jackson. Here's Barnett. His three pointers off the mark. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Now here's Pierce. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Leads away, and the seven-foot McKeskey clears the glass. Looked like he was maybe showboating a little bit, that fadeaway. Really no reason for it. Hodges misses. Well, that is not the guy they want to drive the lane in heavy traffic. Here's Barnett. The shot no good, and the Bucks going the other way right now. Moncrief against Bradley. Now here is Moncrief. And Pierce backs in. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through track. Here's Moncrief. And it's Barnett with the rebound. Nice job defensively. The rotations were there. They really challenged that shot. Here's Moncrief. Uses both hands to slam it down. Well, he took that one to the rack with some purpose. I'll say beautiful dunk there, Steve. Yeah, how about the agility? Man? Just the, the power and the skill. Impressive. Davis. Here is Hodges. He's got nine. The pass to Lister. Reed covering. Reed against Lister. The next pull it in. Tipped. And we saw Moncrief with the steal. Never the most aggressive pick pocket. He was much more focused on playing good, solid position B. But even averaging just over a steal a game, he's third all time for the Bucks. A different look for New York. Lucas is checked in for Reed. Frazier comes in for Barnett. And Monroe's subbed in for Davis. Knicks trail by seven. And Moncrief picking him up with the textbook defensive crouch. Passes to Monroe. He's guarded by Hodgins. Shoots a fader. They grab their own miss. Jackson against Lister. Jackson gets the bucket. 
Now for a small forward, Bill Bradley, really an extremely skilled ball handler. He was a, a high school legend, and he worked so hard on his game. And it sure paid off for him. He became a, a real star for the Knicks. You know, we got used to seeing a whole lot of those shots from Craig Hodges over the years. He was a 40% career three-point shooter. A little too much body on that one, and that's going to be a block. Always a hard thing to judge, but I agree with you, Steve. Clearly a block. Cummings, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Press, he comes in for Pierce. Out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. One fifty-six left to play here in the second quarter. And right now, they find themselves down on the scoreboard and struggling to make their shot. And he oh! How about that jam? That's what got Pressy into the slam dunk contest. He only finished six, but man, those long arms, he could really get up. For the Knicks, the busher comes in for Jackson, and it's Barnett in for Bradley. Here's Preston. It's a 10-point game. Takes it right up. That's blocked. And I think what Dave DeBusher was really most known for was his competitive desire. He was so feisty as a defender, had the ability to score, and was definitely a, a good rebounder. But it was his sheer force of will that seemed to impact the game and, and really help out that New York franchise. Nice time to use that foul to stop the layup. You know, if you can save just one point, that foul was the right move. And he knocks down the first one. Shooting from the one. Craig Hodges. So one for two that time at the strike. Knicks trailed by 11. Here's Barnett. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And that was Pressy grabbing the board. 1984-85 was probably the best of his 16-year career. He averaged over 16 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does, and now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. And you saw Clyde Frazier there defensively, one of the all-time greats at the guard spot because of his size, quickness. Whoa! Oh. Boy, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game. That's for sure. I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! And he throws it down with one hand. Boy, that's almost unfair. I mean, who else can you think of with the ability to explode to the rim like that? Well, there aren't many of them out there, Clark. You're absolutely right. Steve, unbelievable. Yeah, that's the reason the fans love watching this guy. He's one of the league's top athletes. Frazier connects from three-point range. Here is Hodges. He's got 13. Frazier covering. And that's the quarter. Ice T to stifle the final possession. And we've reached halftime in this one. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. Here is Frazier. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Bucks. We've got Moncrief. Cummings is out there with Pressy, and there's Hodges, and it's Lister in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Frazier gets called for the reach. That'll be his second foul of the game. Frazier against Hodges, and stolen by Lucas. Tried to thread the needle there, wasn't there. Milwaukee with the rebound. And here's Moncrief. Here's Hodges. Drains the three-pointer. 16 points for him. You look at how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assists. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. Let's it go from deep. They get the rebound. 
Launches a three. And that one's good. Lucas has got six. Bucks leading by 12. Whoa! Power down with both hands. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That yep. is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Easy to see why he called this timeout. They've been allowing way too many shots around the basket. And that can't continue. And the Bucks making a change here. Ten ladies checked in. Knicks trail by 14. Frazier kicks to Bradley. Back to Frazier. For three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And you look at Clyde Frazier with the ball, guys. Uh, he was effortless on the court. Great hands, smooth, athletic, strong, and a, a guy who just played with a real style out there in New York. And the Bucks with some changes. Brewer is checked in for Lister. And it's Pearson for Mike Dunleavy. On offense here, the Bucks. They lead by 11. Cummings against to Busher. Jumps up. Cummings can't hit. This gives them the opportunity to get within 10. You know, his head was on the swivel that time, and he was able to anticipate that pass. Fantastic assist. Tremendous. I mean, you got to love that kind of pass. And beautiful. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's Barnett. He has seven. Lucas up top. And again, New York with the triple. I like that. Run to the three-point line. Find a wide open shot. Pressy passes to Cummings. Oh! Rises up and throws it down. There isn't anybody in the building that didn't appreciate that throwdown. Well, Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. It's stolen by Bradley. Tell you what, they were in full attack mode there on that fast break. I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they got right after it. Here's Hodges. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It goes on Jerry Lucas. First one falls for. And making a change here, the Knicks. Monroe's checked in. Greg Hodges. And he can't hit the second. Knicks trail by 11. Frazier dishes to Monroe. They're moving it around. Deflects the pass. Great anticipation getting that steal. Tries to save it. Yeah, we just saw Walt Frazier with that steal. Clyde, one of the best defenders in the league history as far as uh, perimeter guys. He, he was even a, a great defender back in high school. That was what he said was always his focus, and it sure paid dividends in the pros. He really locked people up. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Timeout called the Bucks. He's been absolutely on fire from outside. They got to get into his jersey, get up into him, force him to pass or drive. Moncrief, he's checked in for Brewer. Here is Hodges. He's got 17. Next call. There's 154 left to play in the third. Hodges against Monroe. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Bucks leading by 10. Now Moncrief. Covered by Monroe. Shoots from 12. A terrific inside finish by Moncrief. And Sidney Moncrief just so smooth scoring around the rim. That was his bread and butter in college where he shot over 60% from the floor. And even amongst the bigger players in the NBA, he still was effective in the paint. Here is Hodges. 
covered by Monroe. On the wing, Hodges, that's good. 19 points in the game. He's just filling the stat sheet. I mean, what hasn't he done out there today? Well, Steve, you know what we call a guy who fills the stat sheet, don't you? Oh! How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. A different look for New York. Jackson, he's checked in for Bradley. And it's Barnett in for Frazier. And Monroe kicks to Jackson. Dishes it to Lucas. It's stolen by Cummings. Knocked away. Moncrief against to Busher. Knicks trail by 16. Jacks up a three. A rebound by the Bucks. Cummings got three rebounds so far in the game. Lucas is tagged with the reach. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. And he makes the first but misses the second. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. Yeah, I know you agree with that, Steve. No, totally. you got to play with control and composure, Kevin. Pierce kicks to Cummings. Rebound by Monroe. He should make that one. Guys, he had a pretty good look at the basket. Just couldn't get it to go. And the Knicks miss again. Got it off in time. 